Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Today's plan is to visit what is supposedly one of the most beautiful places here in Guatemala. It's a place called Semuk Champi. Semuk Champi is a stunning natural monument located in central Guatemala. Shortly put, it's a 300 meter long natural limestone bridge that crosses over the Cahabon River. On top of this bridge, natural turquoise pools have been formed, making it an ideal place for swimming and a beautiful place to visit. Semuk Champi is located pretty much in the middle of nowhere or it's quite hard to get there. If you want to visit, I would say you have two options on where to stay. You can either stay close to it in the nature reserve. There are different hostels like right by the entrance apparently. I think getting to these spots is a bit of a hassle. So we've decided to go for option number two, which is to stay in a small town called Lankin. And when I say this town is small, I mean it is small. There's not much else to do than and to visit Semuk Champi. And for visiting Semuk Champi from Lankin, you also have two different options. You can either do an organized tour or visit the place independently. We've decided to visit Semuk Champi independently because this is A, the more affordable option and B, then you don't need to rush. You can take your time, you can do things the way you want to. And in order to get there by yourself, apparently you need to find a truck that you can jump on. So that's gonna be our our first mission of the day. Apparently they're just driving around the little town and it should be really easy to find one and jump on one. So yeah, let's get going. We are on one of these trucks, but we somehow got lucky and we actually got seats. So we don't need to stand back there, but let's see how it is on the way back. This is definitely more comfortable, less adventurous though. A bit questioning how you survive if you're into standing in the back of the truck, because it's a very bumpy ride. Oh my goodness. We have now arrived, so the ride costed us 25 quetzales and the entrance is 50 quetzales. It's still much cheaper though than what a tour would be. A tour would have been like almost 300. Of course, we still need to pay our way back, but it's like a third of the price. So I think the first thing we're gonna do here is gonna go to a viewpoint from where we can see the river from above, because then you can really see how beautiful this place is. We've decided to come here relatively early. At the moment, it's only 9 a.m. because apparently if you come here at this time you get to be here more in peace and you can get better photos without a bunch of people okay we're first gonna do the mirador like i said apparently it's 500 meters and should take half an hour so that sounds like it's gonna be quite a steep climb if it takes that long to go 500 meters so a bit of exercise to start this day but then it will be nice to swim afterwards better to start with the sweaty part So hot, getting so sweaty. Can't wait to swim after this. The view better be worth it. <laughs> After quite a gruesome climb, we have finally made it to the beautiful Mirador. This place is so beautiful. Let me show you. taking a five minute break before going back down. Seems like the route back is a different one. It says 700 meters. Let's see how it is. But oh man, I feel so nasty and sweaty. I can't wait to take a dip in those pools. It looks so amazing. <laughs> oh no, I thought the way down is to go down. But no, still have to climb upwards a bunch as well. 
I look like a tomato. My God, I'm a tomato. We have finally made it back down and it is so, so beautiful here. For some reason, everyone is taking a photo over there. So let's go and check out why. What's, what's so special over there? The name Semuk Champi means where the river hides underneath the earth. Here you can see the spot where the limestone bridge begins and the river go underneath it. swimming there are actually lockers that you can use but something no one told us or th that I you know haven't read anywhere is that if you want to use the lockers you need to bring your own lock we would have a lock but we didn't bring it with us it's at the hostel we didn't know it was something you needed here so a tip for you if you want to lock up your stuff while you're swimming bring your own lock but I think it's fine we could just take turns or something and there's not that much people here to be fair so I think it's quite safe anyway Wow, so beautiful. Holy moly. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, this is amazingly beautiful. Getting a free spa treatment by these fish. Oh, oh my goodness. This feels like heaven. Tickle so much the little fishies. I can feel them attacking me. I would say that the temperature of this water is actually perfect. It's not too cold. I was expecting it to be colder, like at some waterfalls and stuff when it's like ice ice cold. I, the fish keep eating me. Um, but no, it's not too cold. It's also not too warm as it was sometimes in sunblast. It's perfect. It's still refreshing and oh, it's so nice ah! i'm never gonna leave this place it's so nice the water is so clear and clean and feels so good and refreshing Now we're gonna try and see if we could find another nice swim spot. I think there's several, at least that's what it looked like from the Mirador. But yeah, it's been so nice so far. I'm, I'm in love with this place, it's so beautiful. And it definitely is getting more crowded the later it gets, but it's still not like overly crowded. Like there's people, yes, but you can still enjoy it relatively peaceful and there's like enough space for everyone and it's not like over touristic, which I really like. Yeah, I wonder like in 10 years from now, if it will be, maybe, who knows. After walking for a few minutes, we already found the next place where to swim and it's just as beautiful, if not even more beautiful. It looks like a real life fairy tale, I must say.
you don't really care about seeing the Mirador, you just want to swim and take easy and not do a little hike, then instead of going up here, you can just go forward and it's a really short walk. If you go from here, it's a bit longer, but the view is really nice. And it does then feel nice to go swimming after sweating for a bit. Up to you. Hmm. It's good, but a bit warm. <laughs> Here's our ride for getting back to town and this time we're standing in the back. So typical. Quite a few hours have now passed and we're back at the hostel. I was honestly planning on filming a bit more today. I was planning on showing you guys this little town where we're staying at, Lankin. You know, go out for dinner and that kind of stuff. Long story short, I had a migraine. But to be completely honest, there's not much to show about this town. It is really small. It is cute and very local, which I like. So yeah, I've now been just chilling at the hostel for a few hours, trying to wait for the pain to pass. The hostel that we're staying at is really nice. I can definitely recommend it. It is locally owned. We have a private room it's not expensive they offer breakfast for quite cheap here they have warm or actually hot water in the showers which is a very good plus and they have a wi-fi that actually works which is also a very nice plus and not a guarantee always in these places this hostel is also like centrally located in this little town which makes it easy to go to different restaurants well the three restaurants <laughs> available but there's also hostels that are located or actually most of the hostels are located a little bit outside of town so then when you want to move from there you usually need to take a tuk-tuk or something but i think those places can also be quite nice because they're located more in nature so if that's what you're looking for you should check it out also if you're looking for a simple hostel in the town i would definitely recommend this one but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful if you're maybe planning on doing a trip to guatemala if you are i definitely definitely recommend to visit semuk champi it's absolutely beautiful and totally worth it personally i did much more prefer visiting it independently and not doing a tour if you do the tour you do also visit some caves but i counted that even if you would visit the caves apparently it costs 60 quetzales it would still be half of the price than the tour and now for us it was like almost a third of the price than what the tour would have been so much much cheaper and i think that when you don't do the tour you get to do everything in peace and you really get to take your time swimming and just relaxing and that's exactly what we wanted to do at least maybe if you don't mind being on a bit more of a timetable and want to meet fellow travelers maybe the group tour or could be a better option but yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye